Hey everyone, it's Larry from WSTrades.com. Got another AI generated Wyckoff lower indicator for you. And it will be in the description here and you can go download it on the website. Uh, I wanna show you kind of the indicator, but more so I wanted to go over the AI that I had generated and kind of compare it. So this one's, I made a Bing Chat AI make this indicator and so let me go over to Bing real quick. We'll go over some pros and cons I found uh, with Bing, and then I'll kind of talk about the indicator. So Bing, so far for messing around, making indicators, far superior. It's had m way fewer errors uh, in the code. I've only had, you know, made a couple. I was just screwing around with a bunch of stuff today to see if I could get it to to do things and if it would actually be able to follow through with it. And it's made like a, a spelling error one time or had two F's in an if or uh, plot. And so, you know, I just had to delete the F, the extra F it had. But so far it's been pretty dang accurate. And if you tell it, you know, you made an error here, then it fixes it pretty quickly. Uh, unlike chat GPT, it seems like, you know, you got maybe a 60%, a maybe 70% chance of the code actually working without you having to know what you're doing to fix it but yet uh bing's been pretty good so far so today i just like i said was messing around with it told it to write me a think script indicator based on supply and demand and popped one out no problem and i kind of got i just kept on telling it to you know change different things i had made it uh plot the fib sequence all sorts of stuff and then in plots i'd come back with something and i would tell it uh, you know, no, I, I want it to look this way. It looks this way now and it worked pretty, pretty well. So I'll give it that, but there are some negatives. Uh, so I'm going to have to erase this in a second to show you kind of where you would start out. And the reason for that is you see these little four of 20, five of 20, you only have 20 times that you can prompt it before you have to erase everything and it doesn't save it like chat GPT. Like if I log into uh, chat GPT right now, it's got everything that I haven't deleted from the questions or the prompts I've told it. So you can always go back to it like, Oh man, I remember I was looking at this thing. I was telling it to make me this and you know, I want to go check it out and kind of modify it. it. You can't do that with Bing. So you have to get it right in 20 prompts or you're just kind of screwed. Um, yeah, like I say, that's one of the negatives, uh, but it works a lot better if you're making it plot, at least for ThinkScript. Uh, it works a lot better without having to, you know, screw around too much and have to know what you're doing to fix it. So, uh, yeah, I guess everything's got a give and take. So, anyways, that make me this Wyckoff indicator, and this is fairly basic. So what these bars are, this is just the volume. So if I had a volume plot up here, you you know, it'd look exactly the same uh, size wise, but the difference is the colors. So the colors, I had it tell me, you know, what the colors are. It says the plots are based off a of Wyckoff theory of market cycles and trends. Here's a brief explanation of how to interpret them. The phases plot shows a uh, current phase of the market cycle based on price change and moving average. Phases are accumulation markup, distribution, markdown. And the color of the price bars uh, changes. Well, that's one thing I changed in the code. Uh, it was having the actual bars on the price graph changing colors, and I don't like that, so I made it just plot them in the volume. Um, green means markup, red means markdown. Dark green means accumulation. Dark red means distribution. The phase label also shows the current price. I took that out as well because it, it wasn't changing. Um, the volume pattern plot shows the volume bars for each period. So yeah, so this is just, you know, volume, like I said, uh, support and resistance. That's these lower parts right here, this green and these little red dots, uh, support and resistance levels plot show the horizontal lines that mark the swing highs and lows of the price series. So I'll leave the description over on the website too. When you download the indicator, Let's click out here and I'm going to show you some of the code and hear how it calculated. And that's what I think the cool thing about uh, the AI, whether it's Bing, um, 
chat GPT. I, I didn't even know Google had one out, but I messed with that today and it doesn't work at all for ThinkScript. So they got some work to do uh, if they want to make it kind of all encompassing. Uh, but you have a length you can change. You have a look back period you can change. Uh, the threshold you can change. I tried messing with the threshold and it's if you change it any little bit, it just completely kind of screws everything up. So I wouldn't mess with that. Uh, but you got your price, your average price, uh, your volume. And it kind of tells you uh, in these little hashed out gray areas what each calculation is for. So it's calculating the price change, uh, the definition of the phases based on the price change and the moving average. So like I said, and this is uh, if you want the bars to actually change color, then you could just delete this little hash right here. And when it, you know, uh, isn't grayed out anymore, then that'll actually start to plot on your uh, chart on the price, which, like I said, I don't like. So that's why I changed it down to here. But yeah, so it's another uh, cool indicator made by AI. It will be in the website. I'll have the link for that in the description. And again, if you guys have any indicators you want me to try and get uh, either Chat GPT or Bing to make for you guys, uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you.